Hey guys, Tony Master back here with another video for you today. This is a real quick one. This is, I just wanted to show you the state of the Mazda right now. Uh, this is my 86 Mazda B2000. It's actually in the garage right now with the Yugo. This doesn't happen very often. This car has never been in a garage, I don't think. It was an old farm truck. Uh, but we're in the process of changing the head gasket. There's a little parts table. You know, whole air cleaner assemblies come off. The belts come off. The valve covers come off. Manifolds come off. Part of the distributor's off. Uh, timing cover as well. So what we're going to end up doing next is that this fan shroud and the fan assembly is going to have to come off. Uh, probably going to take the intake manifold off. Might not if we don't have to. We're going to take off the lower valve cover, timing cover as well. We're going to change that water pump and this belt while we're in here because that belt looks like it's shot. Or feels like it at least. I mean, it that feels kind of loose to me. But we'll take that off and uh, change it. We're going to put new head gasket on, new gaskets for everything. Uh, turns out my exhaust leak was mainly the fact that yeah, the, the exhaust wasn't tightened down at all. Um, none of the bolts were tight. They're all loose. Uh, thinking that's probably going to be part of, my uh, part of my vacuum leak right there. That's going to be really good. I'm going to redo all this vacuum line stuff pretty much. Pretty much all of it is going to get redone. Uh, I am keeping this carburetor as long as I can, but it does seem like maybe things aren't hooked up all the way correctly because that choke should be closed right now and it doesn't close all the way. And it's also held together with a wire tie off like a, pier uh, like a bread bin or something like that. Also, check out this valve adjustment. It gets better as you go back, but it's pretty terrible. So that's gonna have to get done once the new head once the new head gasket goes on. New timing belt's gonna go on. Um, check out the catalytic converter. The flame trap was actually up here, which is supposed to be behind it. But check out the material. How often you get to see chunks of an '80s catalytic converter? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty done. So, basically, that's going to get gutted the rest of the way before the new ma before the manifold and all that goes back on. And hopefully, she'll be back on the road, you know, in a month or two when we're finally done with this project. Uh, then after that, the next thing will be doing the windshield wipers so that they work. Yeah. And just to show you how much stuff is getting done to this truck, let's actually walk in. Yeah, that's all the parts in the interior are the things that are going on in this truck next. In fact, here's actually a bunch of stuff that's already come off the truck and a bunch of trash that's sort of accumulated in the back of it since being parked. But yeah, that's all the new stuff. There's also some gaskets behind there. I mean, it's getting a whole myriad of new parts. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the 86 Mazda B2000. It's, it's dead for now, but it's coming back with a vengeance, I promise. Because uh, I quite like this truck. Um, oh, and there's a new master in there. It's going to get whole brakes done as well. It's getting a whole bunch of service done. Basically, since it quit on me, now it's going to get all the stuff done all at once. I had planned to do it gradually, but I guess we're doing it all now. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening.